Good evening, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been a couple of days. I'm down the lower level and I brought my clock so I know what day it is and what time it is. It is April the 12th, 2023. It is 623 in the evening here. It's 74 degrees. <laughs> Not down here. I just came down here in the lower level and it's colder down here. I probably it's I'd say at least 70, 69 degrees down here. And uh yeah, today is a Wednesday and uh the last couple of days my wife and I we've been going out and well yesterday we drove to Grand Haven which is about 20 miles north of us and I've mentioned over the years that we go to the the uh, Central Library in Grand Ra Grand Haven, which is, they have a, same as uh, here in Holland, there is the Book Nook. They have cheap stacks. So I, since the weather's been so nice, spring-like and warm, and I, my wife and I, we decided to go to Grand Haven to go to cheap, cheap stacks, and then we visit, she was going to visit, uh, uh, an elderly person that who is a member of her church who now lives in assistant living named Don. He is there in South ha uh, Grand Haven and she was going to visit him. And so, and we, when we're in Grand Haven, we visit Goodwill and there's uh, another thrift store that sells used books. So we went there and I just thought I'd show you and then on the way home from Grand Haven, we stop at Salvation Army to look at their used books. And then I think we came home because it was getting about one o'clock and it was time to eat lunch. So I'm just going to show you. And then today, my uh, we went to Finville Public Library, which has a used book room and we bought books there. And then there is in Douglas, which is ne next to coming up by Finville, is Douglas. There is the Humane Society, Scat, Cat Rescue Place, and that sells all kinds of uh, stuff that they sell books. And then we went to the Sagatuck Public Library, which has a little section where they sell books. And these are the books that I have bought the last two days. I'm not showing you the Book Nook Library Withdrawal books, which are over there. I'm just going to show you the books I got yesterday and today so I can uh, put them away. First of all, I got this at Salvation Army yesterday. This is V by Thomas Pynchon. I had this already, but I wasn't sure. I bought it primarily for the cover. I collect different editions of V by Pension, and I had this already. So, I'll, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start, I'm going to put a box in the Subaru, the car I drive now, and I'm going to start accumulating books, and then I'm going to see if I can get in store credit at the Blue Stockings Bookshop. So, I'll put this in that stack. And then uh, I'll show you first the books I, we got yesterday. We stopped at Love Inc., which is a thrift store there in Grand Haven. This is called Water and What We Know, Following the Roots of, of a Northern Life by Karen Bayan. I... I looked at this and I never heard of it. It's more essays, uh, travel from the wilderness of Lake Superior to the f familiar apple orchard. Trace it, uh, Ka Karen Bainman traces an ethic of place, a way to understand the essence of inhabiting a place deeply rooted in personal stories. From the Mississippi headwaters in Esca State Park, she explores the desire that drives the idea 
of the North. Just it, I just bought it because it looked like interesting writing. It's essays. And then uh, I found this at the Chief Stacks, Nadine, N Nadine Gormer. She's that South African writer, A World of Strangers. I didn't have this in my collection of her. So I didn't have this one. I collect her writings. Uh, I didn't have this one in my collection. I wasn't sure, but it was only like a quarter at Cheap Stacks. Then I bought this at Salvation Army in Grand Haven. This is a novel by Brian Moore, No Other Life. Uh, I collect Brian Moore's writings and I didn't have this one in my collection. It looks almost brand new. It was only a dollar. And then I bought this at Cheap Stacks, All is Changed, 2000 Year Journey of Buddhism in the West by Lawrence Sutton. Lawrence Sutton, I have his biography on Dick Phillip, the science fiction fantasy writer, but I didn't know he wrote a book on the history of Buddhism. I'm interested in Buddhism because of the beatniks and... Uh, it says 2,000 year journey of Buddhism, like of the overall history of Buddhism. Then I found this at Cheap Stacks. I have three or four novels by this guy. Lee Avitt, The Indian Clerk, a novel. It's historical fiction. Uh, I looked at it, and when I go to Cheap Stacks, I go through the different, I go from A to Z. And I look for novels or books by people in my that I already collect. I don't buy what I dehauled a couple of years ago. And I have several novels by him in our library, uh, which I can't find. I think I, I can't find it, but I know I have them somewhere. But it looked interesting, and I collect them, so I bought it. It's only 50 cents. Hardbacks, 50 cents. This is uh, Postmodernism by Donald Barthenemieu. Amateurs, these are short stories. These are all library withdrawals from the, uh, from the library there. It's called, you can see it there. Let's see? See, so yeah, I collect him. And that's what, all the things I, I got at Cheap Stacks, I collect these writers. This is uh, Simone de Bouvier, When Things of the Spirit Come First. There's a picture of her. These are, uh, it says here, early, five early tales. This was published in 1982. Very, she's a very well known. I have a huge collection of her writings. That's why I got this. I also collect Andrew Brink. This is Imagining of Sand. He's famous for his uh, novel, A Dry White Season. I have, I collect his writings. And this is a library withdrawal. Susan Halwich, Ultimate Prizes. I have this already, but I didn't know it. I have it in paperback. This is a hardback edition of her writings. I've been collecting her. So I got this one. I also picked up Mary Gordon, The Rest of Life, three novellas. I have this also in my Mary Gore collection, but I wasn't sure. It's only 50 cents, so I thought if I have it, I can always donate it to somebody. I also collect the, the writings of Benjamin Black. 
Uh, his real name is John Bainfield, but when he writes crime fiction, he uses the name Benjamin Black, but when he writes literary fiction, it, it's John Bainfield. Uh, I read his novel, The Sea. Anyway, I collect his crime novels. This is The Lemur by Benjamin Black. It's only a quarter. And then I collect uh, John Barth, very modernist writer. I didn't have this in my John Barth collection. Uh, I've shown you his, I have a whole shelf of John Barth, who's one of my favorite modernist writers. I didn't have this one by him. It was only 50 cents. The development, what it is, it's um, nine stories by John Barth. So I got those at Cheap Stacks. And then today we went to Finville and I picked these up at Finville Public Library, their book room, selected short stories of H.G. Wells. This isn't the Penguin. I didn't know he wrote short stories and it was only like, you know, a quarter. So I picked that up. And then I, this is an Australian writer I collect, Richard Fanagan. This is his novel, Wanting. I have four or five of his novels in my library. They're over there by my bed on the floor there. He wrote uh, The Death of a River Guide, The Sound of One Hand Clapping, Ghoul's Book of Fish, The Unknown Terrace. I have all those. I didn't have this one. I got this at the Finville Public Library. I also collect uh, Margaret Drubel, I've sh Drabble, Drubel, Dr Drabble, I can't pronounce the name. She's a British writer. I I just read her novel, The Radiant, the Radiant Way, and this is The Gates of Ivory by her. I got this at the Finville. I collect her, and uh, I really enjoyed the when I read her novel last year. So I picked this up at the Finville Public Library. That's like one thing, um, I like good writing. Uh, you know, I, do, I read a lot of Christian literature and I read a lot of non-fiction, history, art, biography, memoirs, letters, essays, short stories, literary criticism, uh, I read poetry, I read uh, history of books, uh, about libraries and all kinds of things. But I like good fiction. I like postmodernism, modernism, but I do like this literary fiction. I also picked this up at the Finville Library Use Book Room, The Big Screen, The Story of Movies by David Thompson. This is like an overview of the history of movies. Uh, I assume just the whole history of movies by David Lyon. I like reading about, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't watch movies, but I, I keep track of them. I watch movie trailers and sometimes I'll watch movies, but uh, I just like knowing a, an overview of the history of movies. <laughs> and then I picked this up at um, in Douglas at the Humane Society, the Cat Rescue Place, A Ladder to the Sky. No, I picked this up at Sugatuck's Book Library. This I bought this at Sugatuck Library. They have a little section where they sell books. This is The Ladder to the Sky a novel by John Boyne. I have his novel, The Heart's Invisible Furies, which he's famous for. So I picked, this was kind of expensive. It was $3, but it retails for 27 <laughs> And then uh, I picked this up at Finville and I have it already. This is John McPhee, The Uncommon Carriers. 
essays by him. I have this already, so I'll donate it to somebody. And then I picked up Anita Bruckner, who I collect. I didn't have this one, but I got it because it's a vintage contemporary, which I found another one too. Richard Ford, Wildlife. This is another vintage contemporary. So I collect these vintage contemporaries. And I didn't have this one. And I have a whole... I have at least 20 of her novels, which I didn't have this one, which was kind of amazing. <laughs> but I really enjoy her writings. I've read a lot of her books over the years. And I collect Richard Ford. I have this already, but it was a vintage contemporary. And it was really, I was almost like 50 cents. And so I bought it for my vintage contemporary collection. And then I bought at the Humane Society in Douglas the uh, the first Rampo Anabas. I have this one. I had the first one, but I didn't have the second one. I wasn't sure which one I had, but I have these also. I have a whole shelf of individual hard volumes of John Mortemeyer, his. Uh, Rampo Anibus, and I have individual n novels of his that I didn't dehaul a couple of years ago. And I'll keep the second one, the first one, I'll donate this. I might take them to the book nook or something. So those are what I got at the Cheap Stacks in Grand Haven. My wife bought a lot of books. I, my wife buys more books than I do, because she buys uh, like when she was at the Cheap Stack, she bought a lot of art books for a friend of hers at church who teaches art, homeschools and teaches art. And then she buys, she buys Christian books. She buys all kinds of stuff. I look for stuff that I collect or, like I collect the vintage contemporaries and I didn't have any book on the history of movies the big screen and uh, and other things that I just like good fiction and if it looks interesting and it's cheap and I got room down here on the lower level lower level I'll buy it and someday I know I'll have to dehaul it because Eventually, I'm going to run out of space. So, yeah, that's what uh, I got lately at uh, different places. So, this is a Wednesday. It is 6.40 in the evening. My wife went to church safety meeting, which means that in our church, we're going to have people who ha have the license to carry guns <laughs> to and... Uh, to protect us from being attacked and having a mass killing in our church. So we have to have a safety meeting. My wife is a retired nurse, so she can help if someone gets shot by an, uh, try, someone trying to, to kill us, and if somebody's wounded, that she can still have medical s supplies and stuff. And, there are a couple of retired nurses in our church that can do that. And then we have men who are ex-military or ex-police that they can carry guns and sit in the back and protect us, the congregation, when someone storms in with an assault rifle to kill people. So they got to have a safety meeting, you know, you know, have this all planned out. It's kind of sad that you live in a country where you you go to church on Sunday that you have to worry about somebody storming into your church and opening fire and killing you. But it's happening all the time. And uh, schools, uh, they just had a, a shooting here in Lansing at Michigan State. Three students were murdered. Uh, nine were, were shot. They had another shooting in a high school in Detroit area last year. And 
So, and you have people going into churches, going into Walmarts, just killing people because uh, America is full of insane gun violence. Uh, it's kind of strange because uh, there's no reason for it. All you got to do is enact some strict gun laws, ban assault rifles, and you know, it's kind of crazy that you can buy a gun that can shoot off in five minutes 200 rounds of bullets. You think what that does to a person. You walk into a room, you, you, can, you can shoot somebody, but, in the, but you don't just shoot them. You shoot them to shreds with an assault rifle. You just tear up their body with 200 rounds or 50 rounds or whatever of bullets. And people think that if you ban those, that you're taking away their Second Amendment rights. <laughs> you, you can have guns, you can have rifles, but why give some people an assault rifle that can shoot off 200 rounds in a couple of minutes and kill countless people in a matter of minutes? It doesn't make sense. But it shows you that our society has gone insane. And so... Anyway, with that, hope you're having a good reading week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray that no one has been shooting at you. Do pray that you uh, just keep keep your guns locked up. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'll show you those book nook library withdrawal books in the future. Show you what I've been reading the last couple of days and what I've got in the mail, etc. So, once again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your prayers, your blessings. And do pray that you stay safe. And until next time, bye. <laughs>